Hey guys, it's Jim Halterman from TV Guide Magazine and TV Insider. I'm here with Lawrence St. Victor from The Bold and the Beautiful to get all the scoop about this big wedding episode. Yeah. Oh my God. Um, so what, let me, let me back up just a little bit because you do have one foot in the writer's room. I'm always curious about the trajectory of these stories. Like, did you kind of know that it was going to be this long game between Quinn and Carter and that the story would really stretch out this long? No, not at all. <laughs> not even uh, in, in, in the writer's room. I kind of know two weeks ahead of what we're shooting, but that's it. Wow. So I had no clue that it was going to end with <laughs> Quinn running into my wedding and breaking up. No, not even a little bit. <laughs> well, because when they were together last year, it wasn't the best of circumstances, but I was like, I like them together. And I think a lot of fans did. That's where Quarter came from. People were yeah. like, we need these two together. And so it's kind of come back around now, right? Yeah, it's amazing, man. I love that it ended the way it did. And then for a year later to pick back up, it's like, because it's unfinished business. It's something that was that was tucked away that we knew, like, they had this unresolved issues around that whole thing. And for it to come yeah. back around, and of course, they still love each other. <laughs> I mean, it, it never ended. It's just they decided to go their separate ways, but their love never, you know, ended. Now... Oh, in that time before all this started, like we saw Carter with some other women on the show. There was even like a little flirtation with Katie that I wanted to see explored. I yeah. thought that was cool. Yeah. And of course, with Paris, there's great chemistry. Tell me about Carter's feelings when he sees Quinn show up at the wedding, which we just saw in the episode. Dude, he, <laughs> oh, man, it's for, it, it, is it even real? Like, this is a dream. And And second, it's like, when she comes in and says like she's here for Carter, he can't take his eyes off her. Like, this is everything he ever dreamed about. It's almost like he has to pinch himself. Um, all he all he wants to do is just run up to her and, and grab her. Like, but a part of him is aware that he's up here with Paris and he is getting married, but it's literally like the thing he thought would never happen. And in his life, in romantic life, he's never been pursued. You know, even as early as Maya on the show, he was always the one going after, going after, yeah. you know, compromising, making sure that it's fine, I'm here for you. And then ultimately being, you know, rejected. And this is the first time in his entire life on Bold and the Beautiful where a woman is like, I want you, I'm risking everything for you. So Carter's like, he's not even on the ground. Like his feet are <laughs> hovering above the ground at that point. <laughs> but it's probably one of those moments where you really shouldn't think about it just follow your heart right yeah man I mean I don't think there's any way he could not follow his heart yeah like, he he was committed to marrying Paris Quinn's not an option Paris is great she loves him there's no other woman he's ever gonna feel that way about and yeah. Quinn's off the table yeah. so Paris it could be anybody it would be it would be great but They'll never be Quinn. So he's he's committed to moving on. And then Quinn shows up <laughs> and messes up his whole plan. Now tell me about shooting this scene because I know anytime you guys get out of the studio, it's always a big deal. And I know you didn't shoot this in the studio. Talk about shooting this scene. Well, uh, our portion was in the studio. Rena got to have all the fun. Oh, and okay. Went around like, Santa Monica and the beach and jump on a bike and do all the sprinting and stuff. Um, we didn't eat, so so that that was her ah, outside the studio. But okay. um, but it was amazing because she she comes running in covered in sand and sweat. And <laughs> it's it's the most romantic, like unromantic thing. But that's what's yeah. so amazing is how much Quinn like threw herself around to get to this guy. Yeah. Yeah. That's so cool. Okay. <laughs> so happily ever after doesn't usually last too long in daytime drama, but do Quinn and Carter at least get to have some time to be happy before drama comes back in? I think so, man. I think what's so wonderful <laughs> about Quinn and Carter is the, the, there was no easy route to get to where they are, which means I think that they can probably handle a lot of obstacles. Like them being together was one giant obstacle. You know, what's Ridge going to think? What's anyone at Forrester? What's Wyatt going to think? They're already yeah. like them against the world kind of kind of thing. So I, I hope, I hope that they'll be happy okay. <laughs> for a while. Crossing my fingers. 
what what can you say what what Paris's role is beyond this? Does she have some vengeance on her mind, or does she understand? I, I mean, that's a big thing to be left at the altar, literally in the middle of the wedding. <laughs> I did my best to try to soften it, but I don't know if there's any softening leaving someone at the altar. Um, my last uh, altercation with Paris, interaction with Paris, it was just a sincere, deep apology, and she's definitely upset about it. Her mom is really. <laughs> really upset about yeah. it um but as far as right now there hasn't been any um crazy altercation and a, and a part of me and this might be like kind of me as an audience member kind of reading into the story but a part of me paris said to carter i know you're not over quinn but if you want to get over her you can get over her with me like she although carter never fully admitted it she knew she knew yeah. that this guy was still attached to Quinn. And he did everything he can to say, Paris, no, we're just friends. It's true. It's true. Carter's absolutely wrong, but like these notions and ideas didn't just fall out the sky to be with okay. Paris. And, you know, so hopefully she's understanding, but you never know, man. It's such a fun story. All right. Well, I'm going to sit back and enjoy Quinn and Carter together for, for hopefully for a while, but it's, it's daytime drama. We know anything could get thrown at them. So anything here it goes all right well thanks so much for the chat today you guys watch the bold and beautiful weekdays on cbs okay.